66 people, including two women and 11 children, died at the Ludlow Massacre over 2,000 miles away from my home. And I, John D. Rockefeller, am the prime suspect for these killings on my land. It all started years ago when the workers started to complain of poor work and living situations. The complaints and several strike actions caused miners to evacuate the camp, demanding union. The continuance of these strikes persuaded me to evict the families out of their homes. The families then moved into what they called a tent city or tent colony, formerly known as the Ludlow Mining Camp. On April 20th, 1914, the National Guard got tired of these strikes and took the initiative to step in. In the early morning of this late April day, the National Guard decided to strike back. Shooting over 13 people and killing them and setting fire to the, every tent in the colony, the fight lasted over 15 hours. In one of the tents, two women and 11 children had taken cover in a hole they had dug underneath the tent. The smoke eventually got to the women and children and suffocated them to death. In the end, over 66 people had died in the massacre from Ludlow. As news of the massacre spread, people from all over came to comfort the families who had lost loved ones. The National Guard brought me even deeper into the situation by telling the court that I had ordered the National Guard to strike to silence protest of the miners. So I brought forward the letters between the National Guard leader and myself before and after the massacre happened. The letters proved my innocence by showing the disapprovement I had toward the, what happened at the massacre. But the National Guard also got away with no punishment, the court ruling the whole situation as a big misunderstanding. Misunderstanding or not, my family, as well as the people remaining in the community, will never forget the 66 people who died in this tragic event. The Ludlow Massacre displayed great determination. For the people and families at this camp never gave up on what they believed in. They fought till the very end. <laughs>